At the end of 2018, I mentioned that in the coming year the bushcraft industry would be revolutionized by two companies. One of those was Council Tool. Recently, I received Council Tool's Camp Carver Axe as a prototype to test and review. And what I want to do with you today is share with you the first adventure that I had with this axe and quickly go over the specs. So this axe head is made out of 5160. Uh, this model comes with a 16 inch curved premium hickory handle. In the future, a 21 inch will be available. The head weighs 26 ounces and importantly, the pole is hardened and the spine has a 90 degree edge for scraping tinder or for lighting a ferro rod. We'll talk about that more later, but first, when I received this axe, I had just recently broken my ankle. This axe motivated me to get outdoors, but I had to think of a task that would be worth getting out there and doing and that would look at many of the uh, necessities that I have in an axe in a single task. And so, uh, well, you know, I looked over, I wasn't feeling too great. I thought I might need some coffee and it dawned on me that that might be just the perfect thing to go outside and do and see what this axe is all about. Since the weather was rainy and crappy, one of the first things that I wanted to do was clear out a little area and put up a little poncho. I wanted to be able to make my coffee while remaining dry and enjoy my coffee outside. This was actually a really important moment for me because I had been stuck in bed for about two months. So getting outside and going through everything that it takes to get out there and spend time out there was really important to me. Using this axe to clear the area out and to chop the, superior, the supplies that I need and to get the firewood that I need as a first task for this axe was important because it gave me a balanced idea of how this tool was going to perform, not as a carving axe, but as a general duty uh, bushcraft pack axe. And it was very important because although I do plan on carving kuskas and spoons and other things with this axe, I feel like the most important attribute of this tool will be its versatility. And so I wanted this first adventure to focus specifically on the versatility of the axe. It's important to mention that the tool that I'm using is a prototype. Why? I received this axe months before the official release of the axe because Council Tool, being an American-made and American-owned company, wants to make sure that the release is perfect of this axe. It shows how important it is to them to get things right the first time because they really take pride in their product. That's something that's hard to find now. Let's talk a bit more about how this axe was designed and why. The axe was designed to be used as a bushcraft or camping axe that also excelled as a carving axe. The axe carves so well and is naturally so comfortable to choke up on that while using the axe as a camp or bushcraft axe, you quickly get used to it and are encouraged to start whittling or carving. This is what's so exciting about the axe to me is it's actually made me excited to start doing some bushcraft tasks that in the past weren't necessarily so exciting to me, like making couscous and spoons and general carving. So <clears throat> the axe has a large size hatchet eye, so it's gonna have stronger handles than your traditional smaller hatchet. And uh, it was kind of designed after riggers axes of North, North America, as well as bearded axes of Northern Europe, um, as well as modified hatchets. You see, in the past, a proper carving hatchet has kind of been a custom tool. A few companies have attempted making carving hatchets, but usually there's something wrong with them, whether it's the length of the beard, the shape of the handle or where the handle meets the pole of the axe, the thickness of the edge, etc. 
this axe is designed out of the box to be simply ready to carve. On the flip side, it's designed to be robust enough so that carving is not the only thing that it can do. So you can go out, get it used, uh, get it dirty, bang on it. The, uh, the pole being hardened is a really big, really cool feature that you don't see in a lot of axes, and that means that you can really use that pole as a hammer without worry of mushrooming it out or ruining the eye and stuff like that. The handle was actually um, designed after a vintage axe handle that they decided would be perfect for this application. And why that's important to me is if there's one thing that I believe a lot of manufacturers do wrong today that's different than in the past, it's handles. Um, manufacturers make handles bigger and thicker so that they can use lower quality wood and uh, don't have to worry so much about grain orientation and run out so that they can save money. So by using a vintage axe handle pattern, Council Tools really gone back and grabbed from when people used axes to make a living and from when the quality had to be good. And let me tell you, the handle on this axe is really, really good. So basically, um, you know, Council gave me a list of what they designed this axe for. It just says carvers, bushcrafters, green woodworkers, trappers, hunters, backpackers, day hikers, off-road bikers, paddlers, tradesmen, ranchers, homesteaders, hobbyists, and collectors. Um, why would I read you that list? Because it's on the money. The only thing that I'm not going to use this axe for is uh, would be a more hardcore survival trip. For that, I'd want the woodcraft axe, a little bit longer handle, the pack axe, excuse me, a little bit longer handle, heavier head for harder work, more splitting, and more felling. This camp carver is not a felling axe. You can do it, but it's, it's smaller and it's lighter. Um, <clears throat> but it's so versatile for everything else. I mean, it, it just melts into your hand. The weight immediately feels, uh, you, you pick up the ax and it teaches you how it wants to be used. And you can get it with a full ax cover and a sling as well so that you can wear the ax by itself. It's just such a versatile hatchet. It's really everything that a hatchet should be. So, I'm enjoying a nice hot cup of joe. Very hot. Black Rifle Coffee, caffeinated AF. And uh, obviously I did all the work with my camp carver. If I'm gonna break down how I feel about this ax, it perfectly bridges the gap between the heavy hatchet, like the, uh, the pack ax, and a lighter hatchet, like say the Velvacut belt ax. I feel like I can do a lot of work with it, but the, at the end of the day, even though its versatility is what makes it so great to me, um, I think I'm going to have so much fun carving with this axe. Who would have thunk uh, that uh, the carving axe would be so nice for carving? Honestly, with the hardened pole, the square edges, which were just phenomenal, um, the shape that allows me to really choke up, the weight, the handle ergonomics. Uh, I couldn't be happier with this axe. It's only a prototype. So, you know, my only hope is that, uh, well, is that the production models are exactly the same as what I got. Anyways, thank you for watching. Man, that's hot. That coffee is perfect, though. Uh, guys, check out Council Tool. Um, long story short, I feel like I've seen Council Tool grow in about the past two or three years from a company that uh, 
people brought up, but it was usually lackluster. Nobody's getting really excited to a company that I think is going to dominate uh, the entire Axe market. And not only that, it's not just going to be in America. I think that Council Tool is going to make people all over the world want an American Axe like people in America have traditionally wanted a Swedish Axe. Um, you just, the hard and pull, the whole package really brings it together so well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. And uh, hopefully, uh, by the time you guys see this video, I will be fully walking. So uh, I hope that you have a blessed day. Before I go, real quick, just so you know, um, the tarp is um, Wilderness Innovations. Their uh, survival tarp can also be used as a hammock. Uh, what I've been sitting on is from Tent Smith's, the butt tarp for bushcraft utility tiny tarp. Um, the bag is the Hidden Woodsman, the Hidden Woodsman Possibles pouch. This is a clean canteen, 64 ounce, with beach and tactical uh, bottle carrier. And this uh, coffee setup here is from Stanley. And my wonderful wife got me that for Christmas, I believe it was. So uh, thank you all for watching. And I look forward to talking to you in the comment section below. I really look forward to having more adventures with this axe. And I'm telling you, as soon as I can walk, it's on. Um, so uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.